In this video guide we would like to highlight features and functions of the Navixi tracking software. Let's start with the login page where you can access the monitoring platform. In case you wish to white label your service, you may set up your own logo, background image, and brand name from the admin panel. Besides that, you may display the download buttons for our XGPS monitor mobile application, which allows you to monitor objects from a cell phone or a tablet. To access the monitoring platform, you need to specify your login and password. You may also enable a self-registration option from your admin panel to allow your potential customers register accounts on their own. In this case, you will have an additional button for self-registration. If you do not want customers to self-register, you will need to create their user accounts from the admin panel. Let's proceed to the monitoring platform itself. As you can see our platform consists of several applications. Device activation. Tracking. Alert rules. Device settings. Reports. Tasks. And fleet. To start running our platform first of all you need to activate your devices. You can do it from the device activation application. Device activation is really simple since we employ the automatic activation process. You simply need to name your object. Choose the needed model from the list. And press next. After that you will need to specify the phone number of a SIM card installed into the device. It's APN settings. IMI. Or in some cases device ID. Then you press next and your device will be activated on the platform. All the activated devices will appear on the map in the tracking application. Tracking application serves to monitor your objects on the map in real time. Activated device will also appear on the objects list. Once you choose any device the map will zoom on it. You may also use objects list settings which is located here. Tracking application itself have various useful features. You may switch between maps. Display the current road traffic. Set poise. Create geofences. Or build a route. To build a route, please choose the needed object on the objects list. Right mouse click on the map and you will see an option to build a route. While you choose any device and press on the information icon, you will be able to see the widget bar with the detailed information on your tracking device. You can add or remove widget tabs. As you can see we have widget tabs for inputs and outputs. With the input tab you may see the current state of inputs such as in initiation, SOS button, and other. With the output tab you may remotely block the engine and perform other actions. In case you need to see the history of tracks or events on the map, you may use our tools called Tracks and Events. Simply specify the date range. Configure additional settings. And show tracks history on map. You may generate events history the same way as the tracks history. We do also have a time machine functionality, that is a playback feature in case you would like to play the previous tracks of the object. Going back to the events, to be able and receive alerts on events, you will need to create rules. Let's take a look on our alert rules application. To create a rule click on the add button. Name the rule. Add description its description if necessary. Select object you would like to apply this rule to. Choose the rule itself from the available list and press next. You may also edit the text of the notification message. Set a particular schedule for the rule to be active. Or bind a rule to a particular geofence. The next step you need to do is to specify the way you would like to receive notifications such as notifications to mobile application, SMS alerts or notifications by email. By the way, you may set several recipients. After that save it and the rule will be active. Our platform gives you an ability to change the settings and configuration of your devices right from the platform, 
without the necessity to send complicated SMS commands. You may manage your device settings via GPRS using our device settings application. This application consists of various portlets for different purposes. You may change the name of the device. Group devices. Add odometer widget based on GPS mileage readings. Edit the phone number, if you change the SIM card in the device. Change tracking mode settings. Set harsh driving. Configure tow detection. Change LBS detection radius. Set working statuses for your mobile employees. Define parking detection parameters. Configure discrete, measurement and aggregation sensors for ignition, SOS button, fuel sensor, or temperature sensor. For example, in case you need to create a fuel sensor you will have to choose the measurement sensor and calibrate it. In case you need to retranslate any data from the device to the side software, please use our data forwarding portlet. You simply need to create a retranslation. Select the needed protocol. Specify other parameters. Enable it and save. Let's now proceed to the reports application. To create a report you need to press create report button. We have a variety of reports. Reports on trips, stops, geofence visits, and other. All you need is to choose the needed report from the list. Select objects. Specify time period and other parameters including the geocoder and click on the build report button. You can now see stops and parkings breakdown. If you click on any address you will see a stop event on the map. In case you need reports to be generated automatically and sent to the needed email address, you may use the schedule reports. You also need to choose the type of report. Select objects. Specify date range and one or several recipient email addresses. Now we can move to the tasks application. This application will be extremely useful for users with mobile employees, who spend most time of their work day outside the office making deliveries, or in case they need to travel some particular route assigned by a dispatcher. Let's create a single task. You need to name the task. Add its description if necessary. Set the date and time the task should be completed by. Define any other additional parameters. Specify the location of the task. And assign it to the employee either by name, or by distance, in case you need to find the closest employee to the task destination. After that you just need to save the task. Speaking about the root task. You may create it exactly the same way as a single task. You may also import tasks from Excel file according to the requirements described here, and assign imported tasks to the employees or vehicles. You can copy and paste tasks from Excel file as well. After you created a task you can see completed and incompleted tasks on the map. You can also view it as the list, breakdown by employees timeline, and summary. In case you need to monitor the current situation with the tasks, please proceed to the situations section. Choose the needed employee. Set the date. And get all the information on screen. If you need to create repeated tasks which should be done on the regular basis, please refer to the templates section. Here you can easily create repeated tasks and assign to the needed employees. You can create an employee from the staff section. Simply click on create button and fill in the employee's profile. After you save all the info, the employee will be added to the list of employees. You may also create a vehicle profile. Switch to the vehicle tab. Click on the add vehicle button and fill out the vehicle record. You may also specify vehicle characteristics. If you set the value in the fuel consumption field, while generating a trip report you will be able to get a fuel consumption readings calculated mathematically, even if your tracking device is not equipped with the fuel sensor. The last application we would like to highlight is Fleet. 
As far as you can see we may create employees or vehicle profiles from the fleet application the same way we have done it in the tasks. The most interesting tools in our fleet application are maintenance and eco driving. In the maintenance section you can create service works for your fleet. You just need to select the vehicle. Name it. Add description. Specify its cost. And schedule it by date, by mileage or by engine hours if applicable. Maintenance works notifications can be sent to the recipient's phone or email address. After you created a service work it will appear on the list. Once the service work is done, you will be able to repeat it again according to the previously set parameters. Now we can move on to the Eco Driving tool. This tool will be extremely useful for companies which would like to control driver's behavior. You can generate penalty reports on speeding, harsh driving, and excessive idling. Let's take a look at the speeding report. First of all we need to specify a speed limit. You can set any speed limit you need, or apply a speed limit from the vehicle profile. After that, set the penalty points parameters speeding duration and generate a report here we can see a breakdown on speedings for the specified period if you click on any particular speeding event you will be able to see it on the map you may download the eco driving report in pdf or xls files finally we have covered all the major navixi functions and features we do really hope that you will find our platform useful for your business needs. Thank you for your attention and feel free to contact us in case you have any additional question.